Hey Tony, um, here is the third video, which is the wicking video. Um, I actually need, this is my plume, and I need to re-wick tonight, so I'm going to do mine as well. Um, but I'm going to just show you how to do it. There's a certain way that you wick the plume because it makes it better for flavor. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's a little bit different than your normal one. So, so we got your your coils in here and ready to go. So what you do is you get your cotton. Ooh, sorry. Get your cotton. Oh, I have a coil stuck to the bottom of the segeli, and that's why it's not sitting <laughs> correctly. Um, so we get your cotton, and I'm gonna use cotton bacon for you. Um, I love cotton bacon. It's really good. I love bacon too. <laughs> But cotton bacon is good, so I'm going to grab that. I forgot to grab it, so I'll be right back. ready for bed. I get up early tomorrow. Go bake. Um, so here's, this is the cotton bacon, right? Yeah. Okay. So here's the cotton bacon. Wash it's your hands. definitely in a little bit rough shape right now, but don't worry about that. We'll get it all taken care of. One very important thing when you're wicking um, and my hands are clean because I just got a shower. Um, but one very, very important thing with, with wicking is to wash your hands. Um, and that's because if you're not washing your hands ahead of time, basically it makes your wick taste like a wet sock. That's how I, how I could describe it. Um, the hardest part of wicking is to figure out the correct amount that you need. I still have a hard time with this so you'll be able to play around with it and figure out you want it to like pull pretty taut um, in your vape so you actually use a pretty decent amount a lot more than I thought would be needed or would you know that would be necessary for for it but <coughs> so you'll get your slice cotton and then you're going to take it and you're just going to rub it in your hands a little bit kind of straighten it out and then don't worry if, if you don't get a piece and, and you like you pull your piece through and you're like oh that's not tight enough you, I mean you, sometimes you are going to waste supplies especially like cotton because it's hard to get it down right so what you do is your little end, you're going to kind of like twist that up a little bit so that it is small so you can fit it through your coil. And then um, you're going to go and put it, put it through. Take your other hand, pull, 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 pull till you, till you get to a nice tight area. This is not enough cotton. See this happens. So it happens to the best. I mean, it's it's hard to get down the amount. Michael, he's pretty much got it down, but but yeah, it's it's definitely one of those things that it's just hard to get right. So, grab your other piece. And then sometimes what I like to do is I like to dra to grab like a thicker piece, like definitely thicker than what I know I need, because that way, like when you're combing it out, and I'll show you how to comb it, um, you can just kind of comb some of it out if you need to. So make sure your end is um, nice and twisted, and then I'm gonna go this way so you can kind of see. Gonna put it through. 
that's much better. Get that um, nice and tight, and then see how I'm, I'm just trying to use the bare minimum there, so that that way I can use this other side. Um, so, get that to where you want it. You want it to be tight in your coil. And then you will trim your cotton. Trim it right up against your deck. I like to leave on the plume veil a little bit of extra, and I'll show you why. You're going to trim that side and trim that side. And then I just kind of even it, even my piece up nice. Then take your other piece that you have left over, so you're not wasting a lot. Um, you can really use any kind of cotton, Japanese cotton sheets, organic cotton. Orga any organic cotton, pure cotton, no, uh, no cotton balls, <laughs> definitely not. Um, so here's your other side. Gonna um, put this through for ya. Get that nice and taut. And then trim that up to your other side. Even it up with the other one. I'll show ya. And then I'm gonna trim the other one, which isn't a lot. Um, okay, so you want to try to make sure these are mostly the same amount of cotton. So this is a wick, so think of a lantern wick, um, that's how I could describe it to you. Then now we do the little, like, tidying up part. What we like to use, think of your juice as, like, a little flowing, free-flowing thing because it is free flowing so you're you're trying to get it so it flows nicely through your cotton so what you want to do is you're gonna find little balls and just little stuff that comes naturally in the cotton so you're gonna kind of fluff the cotton up and dig some of those little balls out but don't over dig because then you're gonna dig all your cotton out of there but comb that nice and straight because the straighter you comb it and the nicer you comb it, the better vape you're going to have. It's really important. I don't know if a lot of people take the time to do this when they wick, but it really does make a difference. So comb that. Get those little fibers straight. fluffed. <laughs> so I'm going to fluff these other ones here. See I'm fluffing it up, combing those balls out. <laughs> combing them balls. Oh yeah. Combing them balls. <laughs> And I hope this video is not only helpful to Tony, I mean, I hope it's helpful to lots of people on the page. Because wicking is tough. Like, like I said before, like, if your wicks go back to white, then you did it right. Because that way you know you're not wasting any juice. Getting it all out of there. So, got my little cotton combed on what that side and this takes time like you know this is this is a little time consuming thing it's like a child you gotta treat it with care so eh, comb 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 now that I got all my little hunks and chunks and I got my fluffing done. I'll show you um, show you how to actually what you'll need to do next. Okay, so these are ready to go and then with the plume veil I'm going to use this little needle as a pointer. So I'm using a needle to, to comb. 
Um, you're you're gonna take the one side of the cotton closest to the deck, and you're gonna bring that up through the first screw. If you can see there, into your piece of cotton directly across from it. This is special to the plume veil. So, got my piece through. And you'll be able to see this when you get this baby home. I'm actually going to choose the other side to do that. And it doesn't matter what side you, you put it through. But I had a little more cotton on the other side, so I'm going to use that one. Um, so, I got that through the screw, as you can see. Um, and then I'm going to tuck in, so you're going to tuck in that cotton that's sticking out into the deck. And then on the same side, you're going to tuck your cotton down in. Now, got those tucked in on that side, and I'm going to go in from the inner part, make sure that that's like up against my deck, and there's a little air hole in the plume in the deck. So you want to make sure your cotton is not blocking that air hole. Okay, so now I got that side done, and I'm going to do the other side. So for the through part, so for the part that goes through the screw, you're going to do that on the opposite side. So I'm taking from the other side, going in, just grabbing a little chunk. You don't have to take much, and you'll see it when you when you get it sent to you. Which I'm mailing this off tomorrow, along with David's juice and wire. So we're doing a juice trade. Woohoo! So I got that tucked in, got this tucked in, this other side, um, and I might trim that just a little bit because it's a little tight. Uh, yeah, I'm going to trim that off just a little bit on that other side. So you, again, you just, you want it free flowing. So it can wick nicely, wick up your juice. And I hope it did a good job for you. Uh, I'm pretty good at wicking the plume. This is really, I bought that Doge, and to be honest with you, that's definitely a competition RDA. If you're looking um, to compete, use that. I would not buy that as an all-day vape, no way. So this is my all-day vape, this plume veil. I'm so excited that I'm able to give it away. I feel very blessed. And, um, I, of course, I want to thank Matt, Matthew Hollenbeck for helping me out on that. Um, I bought it at Vape Haven, and he's a great guy. He always treats us very, very, very well. So, basically... I'm Michael and I were pretty anal with our cotton. We like pretty cotton, so we mess around with it for a while to get it to where we want it to be. So there you go, sir. There's your cotton on your plume veil. All you gotta do is put juice. When you put this on, on the juice on there, make sure you get that nice and saturated. So um, think of, I don't know, a swelling, a swelling uh, button, swell. button swell, I guess. You know, get that.